Hi. 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 Is that right? Yeah, you were doing great. I wasn't going to stop you. I just... There it is. Eat it. Jesse. <laughs> Your shoulders. Yes. Hi, and welcome back to Bear Food Kitchen. My name is Tina Bear, and if you are new to our channel, please like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified for every new recipe that we put out. Um, for the people who have left us some wonderful comments, thank you so much. We really appreciate the feedback. Um, we love the tips and tricks that you guys give us. So today we are making banana bread in the Instapot. Super easy, super delicious. Freeze up the oven. If you have, if you're over the summer, if it don't want a hot house, you could put it in the Instapot, let it go. Comes out perfect every time. First thing you're gonna do is get four bananas. I have two that are really ripe and I have two that are almost ripe. The not so ripe ones are tougher to peel and messier. I don't have a bowl, so I'll just throw it down there. You may have a garbage can next to you. You could just throw them in the garbage. Just go ahead and peel them just like that. Easy peasy. I have a little masher thing. And I am going to mash this up. Now, I am not going to mash it into baby food. I'm going to cut it up so there are little bites in there. So when you do go in to take a bite of the banana bread, you do get a little piece of banana. Just like that. So, I don't know if you can see that. Not too mashed, but mashed enough. See that? Then to that we're gonna add the eggs. And again, I don't have a bowl. I'll just go ahead and put them in here. It's okay. Just throw them back in here. Just be careful not to get any shells in there. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and just mix that up. Get it all incorporated and blended in there. Combine it. So we're going to go ahead and add some vanilla. And we are adding a quarter cup of sour cream. The sour cream makes it super moist along with the bananas. Just like that. I'm going to incorporate it. And I am going to add the sugar into the bananas and the eggs. Now you could use a hand mixer or a stand mixer. I don't need to right now. Maybe in a minute I might need help, but not yet. Just like that. We are gonna do about a third of a cup of brown sugar. We're going to add a little bit of cinnamon, about a teaspoon, teaspoon baking soda, powdered sugar. Now, if you want the recipe, it'll be in the link below. I'll add that in for you. And then you just want to make sure everything is combined. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to spatula. that. 
Oh, if you could smell it. Big pieces of banana in there, so good. Then we're gonna go ahead and add about a cup and a half of walnuts. I do put about a half a cup of walnuts on top of it. I'll show that to you in a minute. So yummy. Mix that in and then we have two cups of flour. Might start off slow. And then what I did ahead of time is I did line a seven by three pan, cake pan, with some parchment and um, spread some softened butter. And that is gonna go in the Instapot on a trivet. And then of course, you know, you don't wanna forget, we wanna put about a half a stick of butter in here, softened. Let's see if I had some butter, where would I be? Where would I be? Huh. I thought I had all the ingredients here. Now we don't want to over stir it and we don't want melted butter. We just want it softened. I'm enjoying the weather change. Thank you. So don't forget the butter. You want that buttery flavor in there with your banana bread. So good. So we're just gonna mix it, mix it in. Looks good. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it in our pan. Help me and my assistant, Jessica. <laughs> I'll hold this and you can pour it in. Okay. So that thing's way heavy. Oh, yeah, this is good. Thanks, Jess. Oh, of course. Jessica, production editing daughter, big this, time helper. This smells really good. Doesn't it? Oh, it's so good. I just want to eat it. I know. Remember when you lived at the house and I would bake for you all the time? Oh, all the time. Yeah, I know. You actually you made miss it? banana bread and zucchini bread quite a bit. Oh, yeah. I love your homemade bread. Well, we had the garden in the backyard, so we yeah. had tons of stuff. I want every little bite. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm every, sorry. I want every little, come on, let's not waste. Okay, that Is looks that good. Enough? Yeah. Is that everything? And then we just need some tinfoil to cover it. Oh, I think it's that. Oh, you're yeah. awesome. Yeah. See, what a helper. In the meantime, we're gonna pour some, about a cup and a half of water in the bottom. And I have my trivet. We're gonna put some tin foil, cover it, put it on the trivet, set it for uh, about 90 minutes. There you go. This is a fun game. Yeah. So you just want to make sure you seal it pretty good. You don't want the water to get in, but also you want to keep it a little loose because it's, it is going to rise. And just like that. Super easy. Get your little trivet. I have this one. I'm going to put this on top. Make sure you seal. So lock and seal. And then we are going to set it for high pressure for 90 minutes. 
that's going to make the house smell amazing. So I went ahead and I naturally released it for 10 minutes. Then I took out the rest of the pressure that was inside the Instapot, took out the bread, uncovered it to let it cool. It's still super hot um, before I take it out. But this is a spring loaded pan. You can see right here. So you just want to kind of make sure all the sides are not sticking and they are not. When you butter it, it just slides right out and then you just pop it off. Now, I will admit, I forgot to add my nuts, my walnuts, um, but when you put the walnuts on before you put it in, it comes out, it's so amazing. The nuts are so delicious. So don't do what I did. It looks amazing. Now we have the parchment paper underneath there, so it's not gonna stick. It's still warm, so I would let it cool a little bit longer, but I'm a, I want you to see the inside. It is so delicious. So let me just cut a little slice. Let me get a plate. Ooh, it's a big plate. I should get a bigger piece. And it is just beautiful. It's cooked all the way through. Oh, some butter or not. Look at that. It is cooked perfect, fluffy. Let me see if I can't turn this around for you. I don't know if that will get on camera, but it is fluffy and delicious. You can see the little air pockets in it. Will never be dry, super moist. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bite. I like it with the nuts on top. If you don't like nuts, leave, leave them out. Mm, buttery, sweet, crunchy, delicious. Mm. If you like this recipe, drop me a little comment. Hit the bell, like, subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Keep those comments coming. We'll answer every single one of them. See you next time. Mm.